good eye and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my progress with this 3D printed robotic arm I've been working on lately. This is my first attempt of making such a device and I'm pleased with the results. The purpose was to emulate the full range of movements of the human arm using only five actuators. To be able to produce flexion, abduction, adduction, as well as internal and external rotation of the shoulder, flexion of the elbow, and pronation and supination of the forearm. I am using my robotic hand version 2.0 with flexible fingertips and made some modifications to the forearm attachment which contains the DC motors for the actuation of the fingers. For the validation of this prototype, I am using two Arduino Nano boards connected through serial port to control the movements of the hand and arm and also a power supply that provides constant current. For the operation of this joint, I've used a digital servo motor capable of 70 kg centimeter of torque. The bearing aligned with the axis of rotation is meant to reduce the radial loads acting on the servo motor. This additional bearing is meant to reduce the axial loads acting on the servo motor as well as the bending moment acting on this element that I'm showing. That's the first join completed. The principle of this joint is very similar to the previous one, but it functions with a less powerful servo motor. I am using a digital servo motor with 50 kg centimeter torque.
and there's the second joint ready. Due to the size of this joint, I've decided to use Teflon tape instead of bearings to reduce the friction between movable parts and also to reduce the axial and radial loads acting on the servo motor. The elbow joint follows the same principle as the first two joints, but it functions with a less powerful servo motor. And there's the elbow joint completed. This joint is identical in principle to the articulation that causes rotation of the shoulder, with a few changes that allows it to connect to the forearm. I used a standard size PVC pipe for the struts on the spine and also one for the clavicle.
I made a final adaptation to increase the torque on both servo motors on the shoulder side. These are a set of planetary gearboxes to increase the torque by a factor of 4. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and learn something new and useful for your projects. Take good care of yourselves and stay safe.